Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hoosier Back Outdoors. Me and Michelle have come out to the creek today. The creek's further down than I've seen it all year. Snake. Snake? Where? <laughs> oh, I see him. That is a Midland water snake if I'm correct. Little Midland water snake. There he goes. They have beautiful markings on them. But they will scare the crap out of you. A lot of people get these confused with copperheads. See the markings on it? Yeah. That they're water snakes. They won't hurt you. They'll make you hurt yourself. Let's see if I can get him out there. There he is. <laughs> he has round, round eyes, round pupils. Where are you going? He's not very happy with me. rock bass. I if I can get him off there without him hurting me. They shake so violently. Little rock bass. That'll work. See if we can get one more and then we'll head back. Oh, got him. Another nice one. Looks like there's a hole full of rock bass there. Got another one. Quit it. But your mouth hurts now. All right. One more cast. There's a little hole with some rock bass in it right there, I see. Got another one. Oh, and he spit it. <laughs> Try it again. They're hitting it on the fall. That's what's crazy. And it's a rooster tail. Let's see if any more of them are brave enough to come out here. Got him. Another one. So how many of y'all think it's the same fish? <laughs> a lot of fun to catch. I need to do a catch and cook with those one day. Folks say they taste good, but I've never had any. All right, one more cast. I know I said that before. Like my buddy John at Creek Fishing Adventures. Do you really think that was the last cast?
Oh, that was the last one. <laughs> you didn't think it was, did you? Michelle just got her first fish, and we are not sure what kind it is. Come out of the creek here. She got it in the gut a little bit. That's what it looks like. If it'll focus. Such a weird fish. If you know what kind of fish that is, let us know in the comments below what you think it might be. We're not sure. Looks like a cross between a yellow perch and a sauger. I've caught some small saugers out of here before, but not many. Anyway, let us know what you think. And as I'm talking, Michelle's reeling in another one. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's a really long-eared sunfish, I believe is what these are. What a pretty fish. That's pretty fish. <laughs> I'm sitting here re-rigging Michelle's other pole, and she pulls in one of these. Let me get this off here. How about that? Another one of those red horse suckers. Oh, it looks like you got the hook down there good. Yes, I really don't want to That's touch. pretty awesome. I don't really want to touch that one. <laughs> oh, got to quit that mouth. Man, they're slimy. Such a cool fish. You have to squeeze them real tight. You want to hold him? I'll take a picture of you. No, that's okay. <laughs> He's super ugly. Here, let me turn him around where I can hold on to him. How about that? <laughs> and they jump out of your hand every time. They're so slick. Come on, buddy. We'll put you back in there. What a neat fish. You all right? Well, it got dark on us down there today and we headed on back home, but it turned out actually to be a pretty successful trip. Thanks for coming along. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and we'll see you next time. But until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. See you guys later. Thank you.